If you're like me and like street photography, you probably know that Fuji just released their much anticipated Fuji X100 Mark VI. And this time last year, all the rage was about this camera. So this is the Fuji X100V. And today I'm gonna give you three reasons why I'm gonna keep this camera and not upgrading. I bought the Fuji X100V back in the summer of 2023 and I actually made a few videos on it so you can watch them in the playlist. But let's move on to reason number one. It is my true EDC, so everyday carry, and that is because of its size. It's compact, it's lightweight, and the form factor is just great. I do carry it with me everywhere, and I also like to do street photography, which is so perfect. When talking about street photography, I like to go out without a lot of gear on my photo walks, and this camera is really great because it only has one focal length, and that is the 35 mm equivalent. This camera might have a fixed lens on it, but the great thing about Fuji and what they did with this series is that they created the conversion lenses. So for this camera, I actually bought the wide conversion lens. So this makes the 35 mm equivalent into a 28 mm equivalent. And they also have a TCL, which is basically a 50 mm equivalent. So that way I have all the classic focal lengths in my street kit by adding a few extra accessories. Reason number two is candid street photography. So for me, the true value proposition of this camera is to be able to do candid street photography. I recently got obsessed with candid street photography and the reason is this camera. So I really like to capture those raw, intimate street moments. And without this tool, I wouldn't been able to do that, or at least it would be a little bit harder. Going from a shy street photographer that only used longer focal lengths, so I do love my 55 millimeter and I do love my 85 millimeter, and now the 28 is just a game changer for me, especially if I wanna do candid street photography. Reason number three is zone focus. So with this camera, I'm able to manually focus and I have the option of setting it to zone focus. So basically the camera is pre-focused to a set distance and that distance can be two meters, two and a half meters, five feet, eight feet, and everything within that zone is what we call acceptable sharpness. And I won't go further into this topic because it is quite complex. But by having this camera pre-focused, I don't have to worry about focusing or out of focus or just solely relying on that because it's not always accurate. And zone focusing is especially great for street photography where things are happening really, really fast and you just want to capture those special moments. My settings for this camera when using zone focus is that my aperture is set to f8 or above and it has to be one of those smaller apertures for zone focus to be really effective. So the shutter speed is set between 250 and 500, sometimes higher. And the ISO is a range from 160, which is the base ISO of this camera, and all the way up to 3200. But that really depends on how much light I have to work with. I want to talk about why I'm not upgrading my Fuji X100V to the new Mark VI and there are a few reasons for that but I can say that when I bought this camera I started to hear rumors that a new Mark VI was coming and I instantly regretted buying this camera because it was quite expensive and also it was already three years old when I bought it. I As the months flew by I kept tabs on you know the rumors and the specs and now the Mark VI has landed and we have the official specs. And from what I can see, I don't need what it has to offer, especially for the kind of photography that I'm doing with this camera because it is quite capable already. So I don't need the extra megapixels that the new camera offers. I think the 26.1 megapixel that this camera is more than enough for my street photography. I also do print out my photograph occasionally, and this is more than enough for prints as well. And the second thing is that I don't need the IBIS, which is a great thing if you want to film more, but I have other cameras that I film with, for example, for this channel, that will be far better than what the Fuji can offer. But there are a lot of things that remains the same and most notably is the lens. So it's the same lens with the same aperture of F2. 
and overall it's not enough for me to upgrade to the Mark VI. So I like to keep my Fuji X100V, which is also the last X series to be produced in Japan. All right, take care, see you in the next one.